Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update on ticker GTII or Global Tech Industries Group. Before I get to this update, I want to say if you are looking for a trading platform and if you would like some free stock, head to the comments and description section of this video. If you use that link to sign up for Moomoo, you can receive 15 free stocks. All right, so new story coming out just a couple minutes ago, talking about an adjustment of the strike price for warrants. So it says um, Global Tech Industries Group announced that it is working on the documents required to lower the exercise price of the warrants it distributed to shareholders last year to $2. In the meantime, the company has set up an email address whereby shareholders can contact the company's transfer agent, Liberty Stock Transfer, with their questions regarding the mechanics, timing, and effect of the decision to change the warrant strike price. Until all necessary steps are taken by the company, the exercise price of the warrants shall remain unchanged. We anticipate that the new exercise price will be effective on or before October 7th, 2022. Shortly thereafter, the company will be filing an amendment to its registration statement on the Form S-1 in order to register the shares of the company's common stock underlying the newly priced warrants. And it looks like the email address here, if you do have questions, is gtiiwarrants at libertystocktransfer.com. Again, gtiiwarrants at libertystocktransfer.com. All right, so let's take a look here at some of the price action and see what's going on. Um, this thing rammed up twice against a key level at 294 and then finally busted through that level um, very late in the trading day yesterday. Um, and you can see this thing getting up to 326 mm -hmm. here. Um, it looks like in pre-market, yep, all the way up to that 326 mark. Um, so I've got my eye to the downside for sure right here at 294, just because we know that was a key level here on the 15 minute. Um, it got rejected like two, three times before it finally busted through there. So I'd definitely be keeping my eye there. Um, if we do start to sell off and we do start to retrace, if we come back down to that level, you know, what's going to happen at that 294 level? Will we get the buyers to step in there? Um, will we bounce and will this thing rock it up and set a new fresh high? Um, or are we going to sell through that level? I think if we do sell through that level at 294 and close below that level, definitely look for it to come down here and test about the 280 mark. And then if it can't hold that level and it closes below that level here on the 15 minute, I would look for it to make a decent move down and test here around 264 or so. Um, let me adjust the time frame out a little bit here. We're on the five day 15 minute right now. Let's pull out. Yeah, we don't have anything on that time frame even to look at. Um, let's check out the four hour time frame. Yeah, this thing is just even on the longer time frames pretty much trading at the high. Okay, so here we go. You can see on the weekly right now, we're sitting around that 304, 305 mark. So when you come out to the weekly time frame, you can definitely see a key level right here at 335. So that got rejected hard on the weekly. Um, but that is going back all the way to 2020, it looks like. So going a couple years back here, um, sorry, 2021 is when it rejected this level here on the weekly. You can see it got as high as 455. So definitely keep an eye there around that 336 level. Um, on the shorter time frames, I think if we can get a close above that level, this thing is going to make a fat explosion higher. So we'll definitely keep an eye there and kind of see on the 15 minute um, if we can tick up a few cents because I think that thing got as high as about 326 and it's sitting right now at about 324. So we're only about 11 cents away from this key level here on the weekly. So we'll kind of see what happens here and kind of see where this weekly candle finishes out. Let's see if we can get a close above that level at about 335, 336. So I'll continue to keep you updated here on ticker GTII or Global Tech Industries Group. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.